Good morning and welcome to day four of our little adventure. Good morning. Well, it's uh, 5 a.m. It's very cold outside, like I just said, minus four. We had some issues with our ticket, but um, we got through to the, uh, to the other side and then we got the train on the commuter train. It's not a fast train, it's another slow train. Nice slow promotion on the front. Look at that. Really? So we are on the local train and this is like rush hour in the morning. Everyone's coming and going. Well, we're here at Qingdao. Trying to get out of the gate now. So after escaping his mayhem, we headed to the Ulo Hotel by the Catholic Church, booked in and then went straight to the Qingdao Beer Museum. Do you know where this is? Okay, so we're in the uh, beer museum in Qingdao and uh, we're doing the uh, 80 RMB each tour where you get a customised beer and some beers. There's one that's a bit more expensive if we're doing this one. Okay, and then the bit we've all come for is up there where you can get to try the beer. Hi. Ah, uh, because she gave me two more, I don't know why. Thank you. Keep it up here. So we've got all these beers for me and Guy. Only, for you. Uh, only Guy's 15, so he's not drinking beer at the moment. He's got another three years to go. It's a bit. It's a white Pilsnery beer, it's quite nice. How are your nuts? Dark, really good. Huh? They're really nice. Well, we completed the tour and it was okay. The AD R&B tour was more than enough for us for the day. So in con true consumerist style, you can get your nice bit of merch before you leave. Actually, some of it's okay, I have to say. This is probably my favorite. The beer bottle cushion. And so cuddling up next to that of an evening. Big green Qingdao beer bottle cushion. Lovely. I'd actually booked Qingdao West Station, which is a long way away by mistake. So we headed back to the main station, Qingdao South, and changed the tickets, which was pretty straightforward and easy. So we just picked our, our tickets for uh, the train, and we're going to. And uh, we're in the. We're in Qingdao train station. All trip we didn't really have any um, plan, we made it up as we went along, so from getting our tickets changed we headed down uh, to the beach to see like what the seafront had to there. offer. So we just Let's looked go. at the buildings and strolled along the front. So you can't really see from this video, but right ahead of us now there is a whole queue of people and a huge amount of birds. So as I got closer I recorded everything that was going on and um, there's another video that you can watch that I'll post here. It shows how many birds there were. It was crazy. So from the beach we headed back up towards the hotel and past the Catholic Church where we had a little stop and look at what was going on. And then we found a really interesting street market so we bought some street food and spent the evening there. Maybe it won't allow you. Huh? Probably won't allow you. <laughs> Why? The dodgy face. Look at this shady character. Hey? Perfect, very Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
group tonight, we are in the night market and uh, looking at all the street vendors who are selling different kinds of food. So we've just got this one. Very yummy. We're really busy. Chinese New Year, Year of the Rabbit celebration. With street vendors everywhere. This is a little look along the street. This <laughs> You like Qingdao? It's very nice. Happy New Year. The night market was pretty amazing, it was really busy, there was loads and loads of food stalls, it was great just to walk around enjoy the atmosphere and see what was going on and sample some of these Chinese snacks. So we had quite an easy day today, it was nice, it was just chilled. I hope you enjoyed watching with us. Um, so today's going to be another, tomorrow's going to be another busy day. So thanks for watching and come back again tomorrow. See you soon. Bye.